Good evening, this is Luke Thomas here at QuakePredictions.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. It's 8.45 in the evening on Friday, March 26, 2021. And we have a couple of uh, warnings out today. And the first one we'll go to is in Northern California. Very large area of risk uh, in Northern California. Uh, back about a week ago, six or seven days ago, we had a large area of risk like this up in uh, Northern Japan just north of Tokyo, and a 7.2 hit. Now, uh, the warning for California is a 6.0 earthquake is possible in Northern California for the next 72 hours, uh, most likely on March 28th or March 29th. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Sunday or Monday, we're looking for a, uh, I mean, it could happen before then, but uh, the most likely time is on the 28th or 29th from San Francisco Bay up to Reno, Nevada, and down to Coalinga. So this is a very high risk area, most likely in the area from uh, San Francisco to Reno. And on um, March 28th and 29th, a 6.0 earthquake is possible because this area is so large and uh, we're in the 98% uh, uh, risk area here, so. All right, the other area of concern is in Alaska. We have a very high risk on the 28th and 29th as well. Just south of Anchorage here, there's 95 and 98% risk area. And a 5.5 to 6.5 is possible in that area. Uh, anywhere actually from Anchorage down to north of Kodiak here uh, in this area, in this red and uh, dark red area, uh, or even this, 90% risk area here. So those two areas, Anchorage and Cal Northern California, are the warning areas. Now let's look at the uh, the rest of the world here. We're gonna and we'll go back to that. Down in Chile, we have uh, most of the risk is out in Argentina. Right now is a moderate to high risk in uh, quite a ways south of Santiago, Chile. There. But you can see this high risk here is over in Argentina and 50% risk there on the 27th, 28th near, uh, I believe that's uh, Copiapo. Um, and then uh, let's check that really quick. I wonder where that is. Copiapo, I believe. Yes, that's right, Copiapo that area just north of here. And that's the 50% uh, risk area there. And then on the 28th and 29th, the risk begins to increase dramatically near La Serena, north and northwest of Santiago, Chile. La Serena is right in here. And the risk is at 75 to 8%. So we can get a 5.0 earthquake in there on the 28th and 29th. All right, over in Italy, Risk continues down in uh, near Sicily. And then again on the 26th and 27th, still a moderate risk down there. And then on the 27th, 28th, uh, moderate to high risk in far Northern uh, Italy. And then the risk increases over uh, Croatia here and Northeast Italy. So moderately high risk there, 4.0 is possible in that area, in Italy. All right, let's go over to Japan, Japan's forecast. Uh, we have a risk up here near Hokkaido, Eastern Hokkaido and Iwate Prefecture. And let's go look at the what's happened over there. And I believe uh, that was from, uh, last week on the 20th when we had a very high risk up there. All right, here we go. This is the one I was thinking of here, the 4.2 hit in our warning area up here just during the last uh, 36 hours or so. 26th to 27th and now on the 27th to the 28th, uh, I believe this is Matsue here in Hiroshima that area of risk in uh, Western uh, Japan, uh, north of Fukuoka, 
and north of uh, Hiroshima. This area here is a very high risk, could produce a 4.5 to 5.0. 28th to the 29th, it moves uh, just north of Fukuoka. And uh, you can see in the very far western portion of Japan on, on the 28th and the 29th. All right, the Philippines. Risk uh, right now is, uh, it's in the morning of the 27th right now. This is for East Central uh, Philippines. And on the 26th to the 27th, the risk shifts to Northeast portion and Northern uh, Philippines. The 27th, 28th, Northeast Philippines again. And the 28th, the 29th, very close to Manila get a, a significant earthquake uh, close to Manila on the 28th to 29th, uh, maybe a 5.0 in that area. All right, over to the Athens, Greece forecast. Again, we had a very high risk down here in Southeast Greece on the 24th to 25th. Right now it's the 27th, I believe over there. And that risk remains down in Southeast Greece from Crete over to the island of Rhodes, 26th to the 27th. 27th, 28th, still very high risk down there. Still could produce a 5.5 or larger earthquake. And then on the 28th to 29th, the risk diminishes uh, quite significantly, significantly after that. So uh, during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours, looking for something in Southeast Greece near Crete. All right, Central America. The risk has been quite high near uh, El Salvador and up into uh, Honduras here. And let's look at uh, what's happened in that area during the last uh, 48 hours, 24 hours or so. And you can see this 4.0. Four Four point nine earthquake here hit uh, in the southwest portion of El Salvador, which is right about there in the ninety percent risk area. El Salvador and Honduras are the highest risk right now on the uh, on this forecast. And then on the twenty sixth to the twenty seventh, same pretty much same area, eastern eastern El Salvador and Honduras, and the far western uh, Nicaragua. 27th to the 28th, the risk diminishes over Honduras and then increases again on the 28th to 29th, same area of Honduras there and Western Nicaragua and over portions of El Salvador. All right, Indonesia. And quiet except for the far Eastern portion of, excuse me, Eastern, of Java, uh, Eastern Java. <clears throat> And then the risk begins on the 26th to 27th to build west of Sumatra. And uh, 27th to 28th, same thing, begins to build west of Sumatra. And here it is on the 28th to the 29th, that risk continues to build. Uh, and also over southern, uh, far western and southern Sumatra, 75% to 80%. So we can get a 5.5 offshore here on the 28th to 29th. <clears throat> Taiwan, now this is interesting here. We, ha we had a 5.9, I believe. Let's see here, the world forecast. And there it is over there. You can see this quake right here. This quake here was a 5.9. And we were talking about yesterday, the Ryukyu Islands. We figured it'd be more in the northern portion of the Ryukyu Islands yesterday. This 5.9 occurred northeast of Taiwan in the Ryukyu Islands. And you can see it was right about right in here, 65% risk area. And you can see that risk continued all the way up into the northern part and even higher risk up here, but the quake hit right here. Uh, now the risk on the 27th and 28th diminishes after that and diminishes even further on the 28th to 29th. So the highest risk was when that uh, earthquake hit on the 26th to the 27th. And I believe it was late on the 26th UTC time, which was actually in the 27th in Japan 
Uh, so right into that forecast period. Taiwan, let's look at uh, the Seattle, Washington forecast. And the 25th, 26th still has this risk over uh, Western uh, Oregon here. Let's look at that real quick. And I believe, yes, a 4.1 and a 3.6 occurred off in that area. And this uh, warning area here out west of uh, Oregon. And now on the 26th to the 27th, we have this building into southwestern portion of Oregon. 4.0 to 4.5 is possible there. 27th to 28th, very high risk up near Vancouver and northwest of Seattle. And that risk is very high risk all the way down through western uh, Oregon. And then the highest risk is in the 28th and the 29th, where we have that warning out for northern uh, California or a 6.0 earthquake is possible in California, Northern California on the 28th to 29th. Over in uh, Turkey, right now the risk is, uh, let's see what we have over there, if anything. Okay, it's kind of quiet right now. But this uh, risk here, you can see here is in uh, the north, northern part of uh, Syria and, and southwest or southeast portion of uh, Turkey, right, right in this area here. You can see it's northern Syria and southern Turkey, just east of Gaziantep or whatever that city is there. All right, and then on the 26th to the 27th, the risk moves to southeastern Turkey and north uh, part of uh, Iraq. And you can see that right over here. Uh, just south of Van and the Lake Van in southeastern uh, Turkey, 26th to the 27th, and the 27th to the 28th, it's right over Syria there, right over this part of Syria. And then on the 28th to 29th, looks like eastern Iraq, uh, right there close to Baghdad on the uh, 28th to 29th. The uh, Caribbean forecast, we got two more forecasts here. You can see the risk is in northeast uh, Lesser Antilles and uh, northeast portion of the Lesser Antilles uh, right now through the 29th. <clears throat> and I believe, let's see, I believe we're getting some action in that area as well. Yes, 5.8 and a 4.9 hit in that area and a 4.3. You can see this Guadalupe look, kind of looks like a butterfly there, is right here in that high risk area of the quake. Uh, this 4.3 hit just, uh, just south of there near here, uh, near Dominica. And then uh, this larger quake here, 5.8 hit northeast of Guadalupe, which is right in this 90% risk area here. Uh, this continues for the 28th to the 29th. All right, in New Zealand, it's the uh, 27th over there right now. So let's go to this forecast here. Uh, Northwest New Zealand and uh, Western New Zealand, kind of a moderate to high risk offshore there. And then it diminishes on the 27th to the 28th. I think it's very high, where a 5.5 earthquake is possible in the far northwest part of New Zealand. And a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in the western portion here. Let's go back to the two areas of warnings, uh, which is for Northern California, from San Francisco to uh, Reno. We're on high alert there for a 6.0 is possible from Koalinga to San Francisco Bay, to Reno, anywhere in Northern California or Northwest Nevada, uh, or Western Nevada as well there, could get a 6.0 earthquake during the next 72 hours, most likely on March 28th or 29th. So be on alert over there. And in Alaska, the risk is very high on the 28th, 29th, just Southwest of Anchorage, 
where a 5.5 large earthquake, this is a very high risk in area. Even a 6.0 earthquake is possible in uh, the area near Anchorage and north of Kodiak Island during the next 72 hours. All right, thank you so much for stopping by today and uh, quakeprediction.com. You can go look at all the maps over there, quakeprediction.com. And thanks for stopping by Earthquake Forecast Center. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Really appreciate that. And uh, we have 165,000 followers on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you to every one of you. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more updates, especially on the uh, forecast in uh, California, where it looks like a strong earthquake will hit in Northern California and also near Anchorage. We'll keep an eye on those for you. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. To tomorrow is what, uh, Saturday? Saturday night. All right, thank you.